Hello YouTube, this is Sons Hearts 2 doing my very first interview on the, the Selects World of History no, dinosaur models no, which I picked up no, those four di dinosaur figures yeah, ju just yesterday at, uh, at a local educational toy shop called WizKids yeah, originally I picked these up because of, because of you know, the detail, uh, because of you know, rest of the details of, of these models are absolutely fantastic. They actually look like you know, real dinosaurs. They're you know, realistic dinosaurs. Oh, so I had to pay. Uh, so, yeah, I had to pick them up because I'm a huge fan of dinosaurs. So, yeah, so all for, all four of the, these figures. I picked up and lived in the Jurassic period, so, so I can have uh, the you know, a realistic display to start my collection. Because when, when it comes to dinosaurs, I want uh, I want these figures. I want displays that look as realistic as possible, not based not based on Jurassic Park or Lost World or any other movies. So it's, you know, real life. I'm living like uh, actual animals. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, so I'm gonna review these figures at a time because that, that way I can just uh, cover all, all the all this fine detailed sculpt uh, of these figures. So I'm st I'm I'm starting with a with a pet with a Pasaurus, which was yeah, which was what. Which this was one of the most common uh, dinosaurs in, in the Jurassic period. No, a pedosaurus li lived in the Jurassic period uh, about a hundred, uh, hundred fifty million years ago. Yeah, uh, it, it is one. It is part of a fa uh, family of dinosaurs uh, called the sor uh, called the sauropods. No, which include which includes all, all the dinosaurs uh, with, with the long necks and tails. No, mm, the uh, these are uh, these are the largest uh, animals ever walked the earth. In fact, in fact, a, mm, a patasaurus no, no, weighed about thir uh, thirty tons. Yeah, uh, that uh, that is a weight of fifteen el fifteen e African bull elephants. Yeah. In fact, in fact, it's all the name. Uh, of course, people most, uh, well, uh, of course, some people also call him by his other name called, you know, Brontosaurus. Uh, what's the name? It means Thunder Lizard. And because when, when a because when paleontologists first discovered, obviously, imagine the animal, you know, shook the ground when it walked. No, like a like a clash of thun like a crack of thunder. No, which I uh, wish uh, for a thirty-ton dinosaur. I imagine it did. And uh, and, and, and really, we picked, when it picked this, uh, you know, when you lift this uh, figure up, it, it feels heavy. I mean, of course, it's not weighs doesn't weigh thirty tons, but it's still, it still feels like but it's all there's a lot of well, a lot of heft, a lot of weight to him. As you compare, uh, compare it to other other models, like I have Stegosaurus here. Yeah, uh, uh, Stegosaurus feels kind of uh, kind of light uh, uh, when you hold it in hand. While you pick up a Patasaurus, it, it feel it feels heavy. Uh, yeah, so it's not so not only is it, uh, it's scaled uh, by size, it's also scaled by weight, which is very fantastic. And of course, uh, of course uh, uh, also, you, uh, by one thing you want to keep in mind uh, on these on these models, there's absolutely no articulation on these figures, you know, whatsoever. You can't, you can't, uh, the, the neck, you know, legs and tail and the jaws don't move at all. You know, the, uh, yeah, the po uh, pose has, has a very fixed pose. No, what uh, uh, brings this animal alive? Not just uh, a, a a static pose, like like you see in some er, early dinosaur. 
uh, dinosaur toys. You know, he has knees, but uh, but still, but still, there's no there's no articulation on these figures. You know, but but to me, it doesn't mind that because uh, any uh, any if they want to get this figure articulation, we'll have a bunch of yeah hinges and joints. Yeah, screw holes will be sticking out. Would have ruined this. Mm, uh, the uh, the realism of this uh, uh, of this sculpt. Uh, what the uh, toy makers are, are trying to put uh, put out. So, yeah. So yeah, and, and detail is uh, detail is amazing. In fact, so amazing as that if you uh, there's a there's a couple times where you see this anim uh, see this figure at a distance. It just looks like a, uh, like a real animal. Yeah, it, 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 uh, your, your, uh, you know, mine kind of jumps into the wall. Is it, this is a real animal? Yeah, absolutely, uh, 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 amazing job. And, and, he, and each of, and selects, uh, uh, selects, uh, uh, and selects, yeah, each of these figures are, are hand painted. Yeah, not uh, mass produced. So, uh, no. so you get much, get a much. Uh, so, what is hand made? What has been handmade? You get much, get much more uh, detail. Once we all put more thought into this, into this figure, then as opposed to a mass produced figure, which have to you have to make it as quick as it can and then sell them out. And this one, they just took their time. Now you're getting to each, each, de each fine detail of this figure, uh, to near perfect. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm going to give you a closer look at the details. Start with his eyes. Yeah, is a Pyrosaurus head. I mean, uh, the uh, the eyes has nice on detail. Although you don't see any uh, any pupils uh, or irises on this figure, but you do see yeah a couple uh, points that they did. They kind of met, uh, make it look like it like it look like tears. Uh, the eyes are moistened. It's very nice. Hey, yeah, Chris, you gotta make out this little uh, tiny ear hole. Right there. Yeah, you can see some skin. There's a, uh, some scales are uh, are nice and folded. Uh, nice detail of the of the scale. And of course, you got this uh, um, nostrils on top of the head. That's a nice, uh, beautiful, a beautiful detail. Because uh, all sauropods have you know, nostrils on top of their heads is because. Mm. Yeah, what well, uh, to prevent uh, the bloods uh, rushing their brain as a as the as the animal lifts its head up after you know, uh, after drinking drinking water. And the same thing happens to us when you uh, raise your head up and down, whip your head up too fast. Yeah, you're. Yeah, your head start feeling dizzy and get disoriented. That's uh, that's cause of blood rushing to your brain. You know, at first, uh, uh, for a Pasaurus who has to lift his head up to, you no, know, thirty feet high. A blood, uh, blood rushing to to his tiny, relatively small brain would have been, oh, would would it be deadly. To prevent it, yeah, the sauropod, uh, the sauropods that had evolved uh, nostrils on top of their head, uh, so they can feed oxygen directly to their brain, you know, which helps solve that problem. Yeah, uh, but uh, but, uh, but unfortunately, having the brain in his head also, you know, robs it from a sense of smell. Uh, but uh, but uh, of course uh, of course 
course, they don't need it because they have an excellent field of view. Uh, yeah, uh, a, solar pod, uh, a huge solar pod like it's a Panasaurus could can see a, a coming predator for miles. Yeah, and I, I imagine the, uh, the many many dinosaurs uh, relied on them as lookouts, as they can uh, as they can see uh, predator mu uh, mu much better than other predators like Stegosaurus could. Yeah, and certainly the small uh, the smaller plant eaters. Yeah, yeah I like the Dryosaurus. But uh, anyways. Anyways, I see. Uh, of course, if you look at his mouth, you can see some. Of course, you don't see any teeth because it's all closed. Yeah, and so of course, some some dinosaur skulls you do see the teeth. Yeah, this one, uh, this one you can't. So. Also, you know, also you want to look at the. Uh, also, you want to look at the sides. One thing is really amazing is a is that this this apatosaurus seems to have some scars on his on his side. Almost like he, uh, almost like he, uh, he's been attacked, uh, just been attacked by an allosaurus. But mm, once clinged on the on the side of the animal, mm, no, then uh, fell out. I couldn't hang on to it. Uh, yeah, that's that's fine detail work. Yeah, I guess you hear that no, nice, yeah, scaly. Uh, and the sculpt running around his tail. And, uh, of course, of course, you do see you do see some splotches of paint on, on the back of the thigh of my figure, but it, it's not too bad. Oh, oh, you know, it kind of makes it look like dirt uh, to me. No, but yeah, and this nice detail on this. Uh, Mm, I just, no, call, uh, tree trunk like legs. And as you can see, uh, all the uh, wrinkly rolled up muscle mm, on his legs. And of course, got the mm, all, mm, all his claws, including the uh, trademark sauropod duke claw. Which uh, paleontologists have no idea what uh, what they were used. So, could be uh, could have been used for defense. Could, uh, could have been used to cling on uh, tree branches as the animal lifts on its uh, hind legs to get at the mm, uh, fresh void, uh, fresh leaves, hard uh, leaves, or uh, or could be used for digging for uh, for nests. Who knows? Uh, for building nests, uh, to lay eggs. Who knows? <sighs> Yeah, well, un underneath, uh, underneath the animal. Uh, if you look underneath the animal, you can clearly see the you know, all, all the skin is like nice folded at, as the animal moving. Yeah, very nice. Uh, of course, the scale on uh, 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 this figure. See, uh, the scale if you compare it to a uh, Stegosaurus, scale is all right. No, it definitely looks like a, bit, uh, a big uh, Apatosaurus to me. We compare these two. Yeah, but uh, but to my taste, I I think these animals should should have been a lot bigger. Uh, um, but oh well. Yeah, uh, and that and that's pretty much it. Uh, like I said, uh. If you like, yeah, like I said, if you like, if you like dinosaurs, yeah, this, uh, this is a this is a great ball half for collector. This is something you want to collect for collectors. Uh, of course, there's no articulation, but these these re these really are are the figures you want. You basically want to keep and just not uh, not touch them at all. Like uh, have uh, have like set up a nice uh, uh, glass case and have a. No, put some scenery and put the dinosaurs on it to have, uh, you know, to, uh, just so you can just, uh, have, uh, see, uh, yeah, and they're also, they're also great, 
Yeah, they're also great for little kids, and there's nothing on these sort on these figures that could go that could break for a little, a little toddler could swallow. Yeah, so yeah, great for kids. Also great for adult collectors. Yeah, uh, because of the nice detail. Who do who does the want? I just want to. Yeah, it does have a nice uh, dinosaur display. Yeah, maybe maybe they can set up an environment to make it look, make it look like the Jurassic period, and have this. Yeah, yeah, have this figure uh, display like your own, you know, oh, natural history museum. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, yeah. If you're if you're into dinosaurs, I highly recommend you pick this you know, pick these figures up. And uh, that's pretty much it for my video review on this wonderful detailed model of an apatosaurus. If you like this video, please throw in the description. And uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.